we have to confirm the mother's name and then after that start the discussion. So how can I address the child during the conversation? Good morning, if I'm not wrong am I talking to Angel's parents? Oh, yes. That's right. Now I'm really anxious. Yes. I can understand that being a parent. You're quite worried about your child, but set your mind with these because I have already examined your child's vital signs, which includes BP respiration rate and also the saturation level everything appears to be normal and she's quite fine. So I guess you're glad to hear that yes to hear that. Yes, so before moving on let me introduce myself. I'm Sarah. I'll be taking care of your child today and for a better communication. How may I call you you can call me. So in order to get much more clarity, about your child's best and condition I need to ask some questions about the present symptoms will that be fine? Yes, of course you can ask me anything. Okay. Thank you for that so could you please tell me about the duration of the symptoms? It started about an hour ago, okay. The onset of the symptoms? About an hour ago. She had started having this wheezing and breathing difficulty. So did you, notice any possible triggers for that as soon as I'm really confused about that, too? And she was playing in the garden she was running around and suddenly she started this wheezing and just diagnosed. So may I know is there any change in the severity? Ah, uh, the symptoms started out of sudden and it was quite exaggerated at that time and the severity is now a little better. Okay. So have you tried, any home remedies? No, no. No, I wasn't sure what to do at that time. So I immediately called the ambulance and brought her to the hospital. I really appreciate you for taking the medical attention. And is there any previous occurrences? She's having this for the first time. Okay, I would like to ask one more question. Could you please tell me do you have a family history of asthma? Hay fever or eczema? If I remember correctly. My spouse was asthmatic during his childhood. But he's okay now, no wondering my family is having any eczema or hay fever. All right. I know all these data are quite informative for the further treatment. I can sense that. You're quite anxious but you don't need to worry about anything. Which child is quite stable at the moment her vital signs are pretty normal as, I already informed you there is a mild wheezing but there is no cause for concern about it. I hope you're following my words. So yes as I follow in your words. Let me outline the next steps to you. First of all the doctor will assess your child. He might carry out certain tests and investigation later on. He'll be telling the initial diagnosis to you after that. He will discuss the treatment with you. Am I clear? Yes. 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 Do you need any further clarification? No. No. I got a clear idea about her treatment, but yes, I'm really concerned whether she might be asthmatic. You please confirm diagnosis with me? Yes, I'm pretty sure that she's having the same case. Could you please confirm diagnosis with me? Yes, I know being in a parent I can completely relate to your emotions. But let me explain it to you that I'm not the right person to give diagnosis. The doctor will be giving much more information regarding the diagnosis and it's quite difficult to diagnose at the initial stages. Am I clear? Yes is it clear to you? Yes, I got a clear idea now but I hope it will not take too much time to see no, 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 not really because the hospital is not very busy at the moment. A couple of doctors are available. So the doctor will come and see your child very soon. He will do a quick examination for that. So meanwhile, just wait here for some time. Yes sure, and I will be in the waiting room. Thank you for your willingness. So meanwhile if you have any further concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be in the assistance.